fallacies about your cell phone giving you brain cancer and all are just that. They're, they're fallacies. I don't think we can have this discussion without giving people some understanding of what radiation is. Radiation itself, it, the, the term itself has kind of got a bit of a negative connotation, but basically it's part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So low end, and you have these radio are, waves. These are wavelengths. These are That's actually the, wavelengths and yep. energies, which are which are uh, the very low end uh, energies. You have things like radio waves, and though in that in that situation, both radio waves and microwaves are what they call non ionizing. So the bottom line is that the low energy stuff that is non ionizing cannot damage tissue. But basically, the higher you go in the energy, in the in the energetics of the particles, the more likely the exposure to these uh, packets of energy are going to cause damage to your DNA. Why is it that as the wavelength gets shorter, the energy gets bigger? That's one of the big reasons why all the uh, uh, fallacies about your cell phone giving you brain cancer and all are just that. They're, they're fallacies because even having a cell phone on your on your ear for hours a day, it's, it's non-ionizing radiation. And standing too close to a microwave oven, again, non-ionizing radiation, so that cannot damage your cells the right. way that the, the other The radio wave is too long. That's the, right. The microwave is too long. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the energy. You can stand on it all you want. It can heat, but it can't damage. Correct. It can excite the molecules, but it won't actually eject an electron, which would, which is what would cause an ion to form, which is why it's called ionizing. And just so people can kind of anchor this to things that are familiar, mm -hmm. living at sea level exposes us to one to two millisieverts of ionizing radiation a year. That's exactly right, Monet. And then, of course, at, at uh, altitude, it could be double that. That's actually. right. If you live in yeah. Denver, it's mm -hmm. easily double that or right. triple that, right. correct? Uh, it, and, uh, just another thing for comparison, a pilot who spends a lot of time traversing the North Pole, right, which is typically how they're going to fly. They're not mm -hmm. going to go all the way around the center of the earth. Correct. Um, might get another three or four millisieverts it's of quite radiation. quite a bit, quite a bit. That's right, per per trip, actually. 